Hello and welcome back to Ooh, wait. Ah. Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect. Yes. Okay. Well, welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary. New game import. Yes, we're going to do these options again. Crack! I'm going to shut my door! <coughs> so much effect two times. Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still, it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending him to fight Geth. Geth. We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard, they'll follow him. He's a hero, a bloody icon. But he's just one man. If we lose Shepard, humanity might go follow him. Then see to it that we don't lose him. One month after the devastating gas attack on the Citadel, blah blah blah, yeah, you just read it. Sinks active. Track crawls. Board is green. We're running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. <clears throat> Some ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way it gets shipped to possible. It's not the gap. Brace for evasive maneuvers! <laughs> Evacuate. I'm not leaving. 
just came through. You. I need you to get the crew onto the evac shuttle. I'll take care of Joe. Shepard. Shepard. Liara, go. Now. Now. Aye, aye. Everybody in! Go, go, go! Look at that planet. Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. The Normandy's lost. Going down with the ship won't change that. Yeah, okay. Help me up. They're trying to wrap for another attack! And so, Mass Effect 2 begins with our death. With Shepard's death. Mass Effect Genesis is an interactive comic that summarizes the events of Mass Effect 1. Do you like to review the story so far? Yes. Just another routine mission. Why do they always say that before a mission? Of course it's routine. You haven't done anything yet. It's everything that happens along the way. The choices you make, the paths you choose. Turn the routine. Anything but. Of course, that's how it started. A routine mission. Answering a distress call. What will that come? We were testing out the Normandy, Captain Anderson's new ship, when the distress call came in. An Alliance patrol on Eden Prime had been attacked. They'd seen something they couldn't explain. And whatever it was, 
It was massive. I hit the ground with my lieutenant, Caden Malenko. A good kid, loyal, by the book, with a talent for my arts. We came across the lone survivor of the patrol, Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams, a soldier to the core, tough, disciplined, ready to take on whatever came her way. Ashley joined up with us and took us to the spot where she lost her squad. Hold on. That's when we saw Be it. Be right back. The ship. Like nothing I'd ever seen. Wow. It was massive. Scorching the colony and everything around it as it blasted away. We followed the path of destruction to an artifact. A beacon left by a long dead race called the Protheans. The colony had dug it up and whoever attacked them had tried to take it. Chief Williams made the mistake of getting too close. It hit her with some type of energy. I grabbed her and threw her out of the way. That's when it hit me. Hard. Every muscle in my body went rigid. I couldn't move. Could barely breathe. Everything went black. And then I saw something. A vision. A dream. A nightmare. By the time I woke up, we were halfway to the Citadel on our way to meet the Council. I was expected to explain what I'd seen. Anderson came along. So did Adina, our political representative on the Citadel. With those two heavyweights, it seemed reasonable we could persuade the Council that the ship we'd seen was a potential threat, as was the individual behind the attacks. The main suspect for the Eden Prime Massacre was a Turian Spectre named Sarah. He'd been seen by one of the survivors from the colony at Eden Prime, and there was some evidence to suggest that the ship was connected to Sarah. But even Adina's pointed accusations weren't enough to convince the Council. They just couldn't believe one of their chosen elite Spectres could be guilty of something like that. They needed proof, which meant I needed proof. Fortunately, I wasn't alone in my search. Garrus, another Turian, wanted to help. A top agent for Citadel security. Despite orders from his superiors that he shouldn't get involved, he told me he was suspicious of Sarah, and he had some useful leads. More importantly, he was willing to share them. That led me to Rex, the biggest, nastiest looking Krogan bounty hunter I'd ever seen. He turned out to be more than just a brute. It was his intel that led to a fugitive with incriminating evidence on Sarah. The fugitive turned out to be an energetic little quarian named Tal. A tech expert with a knack for hacking, she'd procured some information on Sarah. Evidence that proved oh, Sarah was dirty. Tally's evidence proved that Saren was responsible for the massacre on Eden Prime, and that the immense warship we'd spotted was in fact Saren's flagship. But it went much further. Saren was trying to find a way to bring back a race of sentient machines from dark space. Machines allegedly responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life. These Reapers were blamed for wiping out all life 50,000 years ago, including the Protheans then disappearing back through the mass relays to dark space, leaving no trace they'd ever been. I explained why Saren was after the beacon, and I made some sense out of my visions. But not much else. We couldn't convince the Council that the Reapers were a threat, but they agreed Saren had to be stopped. They stripped him of his Spectre status and gave me the honor of becoming the first human Spectre. My first task? Bring down Saren. Anderson decided to stay behind, giving up his ship, the Normandy. He told me I would need it more than he would. He also pointed me in a direction. Why? Liara. A Prothean expert, adept in biotics, and maybe most importantly, daughter of Benezia, Saren's top lieutenant. And like most Asari, as beautiful as she is intelligent, and born with a unique ability to meld with other species. Liara was able to help me decipher some of the vision the beacon had given me. Nothing concrete, but it gave me some clues and a new appreciation for the Asari. Her technique for accessing my vision was unexpected, but not at all unpleasant. Ashley was a little concerned about the connection I shared with Liara. As commander, I knew either relationship had the potential to interfere with the mission. I told Liara about how I felt. Apparently she'd felt it too. But we agreed we wouldn't let it get in the way of our mission. Finding Sarah. Thanks to Liara's help, we had our next lead. Benezia. Saren had taken her to Novaria, where he'd enslaved a dangerous race of insect-like creatures, Arachne. He ordered Benezia to use the same technique Liara had used on me to extract information from Arachne Queen. The Queen's drones were everywhere, and they weren't happy. 
We had to fight through hundreds of them to get to Venice. By the time we arrived, Sarah was gone. With the information. I tried to reason with Venezia, but Sarah had indoctrinated him. He had somehow acquired the ability to control people's actions and wills. Venezia wouldn't surrender. And Liara was forced to watch her mother die in her arms. And I was left with an angry, dangerous Rachni queen to deal with. She claimed her drones would do no harm if I released her. But the Rachni had terrorized the galaxy before. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't doom an entire species for past sins. And the Queen was true to her word. She left and took her army of drones with her. With Saren's top lieutenant dead, he was quickly running out of time and places to hide. I tracked him down at his base on Vermont, but we soon learned it was more than a base of operations. It was a breeding ground. Saren was breeding an army of crow. He'd found a cure for the Jennifer, a disease inflicted on the Krogan to prevent them from breeding and taking over the Not in front of my girl, but the Krogan Saren was breeding were slaves, mindless beasts that obeyed Saren's will. I had to destroy the base and all its research. Rex disagreed violently. Rex wanted the Genophage cure for his people. I tried to convince him to help me destroy it, but these Krogan weren't real. But he wouldn't back down. Fortunately, Rex is smarter than he looks. He realized this wasn't the way to help his people, and that Saren was the real threat. When we finally got to the center of the base, I realized just how close Saren was to completing his plan. He was already in communication with the Reapers. Sovereign, Saren's flagship, we'd all assumed it was just a ship. It was a Reaper. It spoke to me. Threatened me. I could feel the menace it had for every living thing. It wanted me dead. It wanted us all dead. And I knew it was capable of doing just that. What I couldn't understand was why Saren would help it. But there was no time to think about it. Sovereign knew where we were. We had to destroy the base and get the hell out. I split up my team in two squads, sending Ash with one and Caden with the other as a distraction. We had a nuke, and we planned to use it. Before we could detonate the bomb, Saren showed up. We fought. I stalled him to make time for my team. And in talking to him, I realized the truth. It wasn't Saren who was indoctrinating everyone. It was Sovereign, the Reaper. And Saren was in deeper than all of them. He tried to convince me he was still in control. He said he found a way to reduce the Reaper's influence, but he was kidding himself. Or believing the lies Sovereign was telling him. Before I could convince him to stop, he ran, leaving me just seconds to extract my squad mates. Okay, choose the one with. But I wasn't fast enough. the wrong one, Ed. I could only save one of them. Ash was a good friend and a great soldier. But I had to choose. And I chose Kate. That was the last time Saren would slip away from me. I knew then, the next time we met, one of us would die. With my team mostly intact, we chased Saren and his army to Ilos, a long-lost planet that had once belonged to the Protheans. As we prepared for what we knew would be a desperate fight, I spoke to my crew. We were just one ship, against Saren's growing army. I assured them all that despite the odds, we could defeat him. But Liara saw through my words. She knew I was hurting after Ash's death. She could sense my doubts. We both knew this mission could be our last. Until that moment, we put our feelings aside for the sake of that mission. But why wait? We gave in to each other. And it was perfect. While it lasted. We arrived on Ilos close behind Sarah. Once on the planet, we discovered a Prothean databank that helped me put the final pieces of my vision together. The Reapers had come 50,000 years ago. And every 50,000 years before that, each time purging the galaxy of life. The Protheans had fought and died, like every species before them. But a few survived long enough to meet a parting gift. The Protheans had discovered that the Citadel was the key to controlling the mass relays. By sabotaging the Citadel, they found a way to close the relays to dark space, slowing the Reaper's return, giving us the time we needed to find a solution to stop the Reapers once and for all. Saren knew this. He was leading his army to take control of the Citadel and re-establish the relays to Dark Space, bringing the waiting Reapers here to destroy us all. 
we followed him to the Citadel. It was intact, but heavily damaged. He had caught the Council fleets by surprise, and they were only now in the group. And with Sovereign as his flagship, there was little hope the fleets could counterattack with enough strength to take back the Citadel. But Saren was done running, and I was done chasing. As the Alliance and Citadel fleets battled Saren's army outside, I cornered the Turian bastard in the Citadel Tower in front of him. He died believing that the Reapers would save him. As I fought to regain control of the Citadel, the Council's flagship, the Destiny Ascension, fell under attack. Despite Saren's death, Sovereign and Saren's army continued to fight. The Council was aboard the Destiny Ascension, and they were requesting assistance. But I knew in order to help them, I would have to put our human alliance fleet in jeopardy. The Council had to be saved. They represented the hearts and minds of the galactic community. Without them, the fleets would be in disarray. Even with the Citadel back in my control, Saren defeated, and the Normandy leading the combined galactic fleet, the battle against Sovereign, a single Reaper, was relentless. It took the combined fleets of humanity and the other races, but in the end, Sovereign fell. But the costs were immense. While humanity's efforts in the war earned us our first seat on the Council, it was a hollow victory. The Reapers were still out there. I knew the fight was far from over, but as the one who'd led the fight against Saren, I was given new responsibilities. The choice of humanity's first council was left for me to decide. On the one hand, Medina, a lifetime politician, ruthless and ambitious, who would easily navigate the political landmines that would soon be put in front of him. The other choice, Captain Anderson, the career soldier, tough but fair, but a friend someone I could trust. Both great leaders in their own right. Anderson didn't want the job, which was a sure sign he'd be perfect for it. No ambition to get in the way. The war was over. The threat had passed. In time, the Council would rebuild itself. The Citadel would be repaired, and the pain of lost friends would fade. But none of that mattered if the Reapers were still out there. And if they were all as powerful as Sovereign, right. we had to find a way to stop them. I had to find a way. Right. I gathered my crew, took my ship, and went in search of answers. Officially, the Council would only say I was assigned to clean up duty, rooting out any remnants of Saren's army. Just another routine mission. Just another routine. Ah! Routine. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot this scene exists. <clears throat> yeah, that's all sad. Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will receive his plan. Except imported space. Of course I'm gonna... Shepard, don't try to move. 
Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Let's stay calm. Brain activity is off the charts. Steps pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another go. Now. Anything in here? No, nothing? Okay. Notice that shields get taken down much quicker even on casual in this game. You got a bit more strategic. That's how you play. Alrighty. Got the 
to that way. Finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit him with the good stuff. I want my rack. My rack. Oh, did I didn't answer your questions. Come here. What do you want to know? Come here. Okay, I'm gonna investigate. You said they spent two years rebuilding me? How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting edge technology. What do you mean? Cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. What can you tell me about the project? Other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. 
best technology money provides. Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it? What they're after? Dan Fano. I was getting ready for some shut eye. And bam! Bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting at us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You need top security access to hack all the mechs. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. But everyone else, including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, the Aquarium, they all made it out alive. Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant. But I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station security. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It's her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? There was some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we... Check. Check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? <sighs> Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. I think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. Come on. Service tunnels are this way.
Send him back. Engaging target. We'll see. Find us another route out of here. Preferably one that doesn't lead straight into an enemy squad. Just keep moving toward the control. They found me. Wilson, where are you? Server room B. Hurry. They're out of control. Okay. Up those stairs, Shepard. I'm hit. You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> we'll talk about this after we fix my leg. Should be some meta gel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the meta gel from the first aid station on the wall. Okay, but you're surrounded by dead servers, Guess that makes us even now, hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mix. Whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio room. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? I don't trust any of you're you. You're all strangers to me. Let's get someplace safe, then we'll sort out whose fault it is. Right, Shepard. We need to find Miranda. We can't leave her behind. Uh, forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. Then why did you wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay. Maybe she's not a traitor, but that doesn't change the facts. We're, she's not. Red. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few. Overload the canisters to clear a path to the shuttle. Collision Next, don't know when to quit. Fastest way to the shuttles is through those canisters. Okay, we took him down, but this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. <laughs> he won't make it if he's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project, the program that we built you. It's funded and controlled by servers. 
That sounds familiar. I think I ran into Cerberus a few times while I was investigating Sarah. Some kind of pro-human splinter group, right? Well, that's what the Alliance wants people to believe. There's more to it. The Alliance declared you dead. Hey. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now, we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. Believe it. That was me, you little... I don't care what they did or what you say. I'm not working with terrorists. You can tell it to the boss. But after we've saved our butts, we're... Through here. We're almost at the Miranda, but you are dead. What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. Even if you're sure, did he deserve that welcome? He sabotaged the security systems, killed my staff, and he would have killed us. You sure about that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. What if you're wrong? I'm never wrong. I thought you'd have learnt that by now, Jacob. You should have taken him a lot. See what he knew. Too risky. I've put too much time and effort bringing you back to life to let you get killed now. You really think Wilson's capable of that? Not anymore. <laughs> If you say so. What's our next step? We get on the shuttle and go. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know he works for Cerberus. Ah, oh, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you and he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. <laughs> what about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? 
The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. She's right. We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from you? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since Heck. the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Did you say two years? I've been gone that long. Heck, two two years, years and twelve days. Years. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you were a spacer kid, raised mostly on one ship or another. You enlisted and you survived a Thresher Maw attack that wiped out the rest of your team. Do you remember that? I lost a lot of friends that day. Going through something like that changes you. It can break you if you let it. I read the report. Fifty Marines died on the Kugus. You were the only one who lived. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave her behind? I left a friend to die that day, and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Ash gave her life for the rest of the team. Without her, I couldn't have stopped Sarah. She died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. Memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills in person. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. man is waiting for you in the other room. Alrighty, so uh, I customize my armor. Alright. I a breather. You know, I kinda like the engine breather. Oh, the recon hood looks cool, but my casual appearance. There. there we go. Elusive man. 
I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people to know what you and I know. You might be the reason I'm still alive, but that doesn't mean I trust you. You need to put your personal feelings aside. Humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memories still intact. How are you feeling? You need to earn the right to ask me those kinds of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as you believe. You and I are on the same side. We just have different weapons. Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, Entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe that someone working for the Reapers, just as Sarah and Miguel, they even saw them. You've seen it yourself. You've bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Eh. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you're killing them. Fighting a war doesn't seem like so good. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand the fear that you kill me. They have to respect me. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. They suffered substantial losses fighting Saba. Their rebuilding was still stretched too thin to waste resources verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on Mercs and pirates is easy, and more convenient. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's progress, the latest company. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Is this a volunteer job or am I being volunteer? You always have a choice, Shepard. If you don't find the evidence we're both looking for, we can talk to friends. But first, go to Freedom's Partners. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection with the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the best. Yay. Immediately following the Yay. Time to go. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. I just hope it was worth it. A lot of people lost their lives in that station. We have to work together here. Your attitude isn't helping anything. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. <laughs> what can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Any thoughts of what we might run into there? 
A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, we'd have done a few things differently. What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. <laughs> I'm glad he was in charge of that thing. Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. <laughs> Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. Stop pitting yourself. <laughs> I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. What did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. Rick. No signs of attack, yeah. no corpses, yeah. not even a trace of unusual yeah. genetic material to give us a clue. We just disappeared. We've got no target to go yeah. after. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else destroys <coughs> the scene. Someone could still be Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. Rex is out uh, in the back. Rex is out in the back right there. Do not let him in yet. Not yet. I'll let him in in a few minutes. No. Uh, is it because they're green? Why do you think I have them? Like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of the Damn day. Ammo thing. It's actually heat clipped, but. Strange. No bodies, no structural damage, and no signs of battle. Yeah, let me double check. Alrighty. 
nothing here. Okay. Nothing there. Plus one thousand credit. Yeah. Them to attack on site. We're not alone here. Yeah, I can tell we're not alone here. I do that. Yes. Oh good. Never Come here, Rick. Rick. Make activity. chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Shepard, is that... you're alive? Remember when I gave you that get data tally? Did it help you complete your pilgrimage? Yes, it did. Fraza, weapons down. This is definitely Commander Shepard. Why is your old commander working for Cerberus? I don't know. Maybe we should ask. I nearly died, Tally. Cerberus spent two years rebuilding me. They want me to investigate attacks on human colonies. Likely story. No organization would commit so many resources to bring back one soldier. You haven't seen Shepard in action, Prasa. Trust me. It was money well spent. Perhaps we can work together. We're here looking for a young quarian named Vitor. He was here on pilgrimage. Isn't that a little strange? A quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an over-air exposure, he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the next to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Your people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people infiltrated our flotilla and tried to blow up one of our ships. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. We can argue over who killed who later. Right now we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. Whatever happens, it's good to have you back. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of them. All right. Online. <laughs> <laughs> no. Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of 
security drones up ahead. Okay, good thing Thanks for the warning. That, uh... We'll take care. We've been spotted. I got 2,000 credits from this. That's why you want to save before you do any of that. Use overload on them. I did want to get to Vito first. Get your squad into cover and I'll open the loading Bay doors. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Heading to cover! Grabbing cover! Take point. All right, Tally, thank you. I'm just gonna stay. That 
that's the first time I ever took. That's the quickest I've ever taken down that mech. Sure, Jacob got his ass. Wait. I'll take it. Every weapon ammo increase. Yay. The monster's coming back. Mechs will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No Vitor. Not here. Is swarms he can't find Phoenix? Monsters coming. Have to hide. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. Rex! I don't think he can come hear here, you, Commander. Rex, come here. Come here. Have to hide. Have to hide. Mechs will protect. Swarms coming. Neck. Storm coming. Storm. You're human. Why did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The, the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. We're not survivors, Vitor. We just got here. You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pasted it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. Is that some kind of alien? There are species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you, then the monsters take you away. Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his environs should kept them from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds, machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you, then they sting you, freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. I want to know more about the collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare, a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of them, Commander. Thank you. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tour. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic, dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. No. Vitor is in. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Raza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take me to his Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. Vitor goes. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I want to, but I can't. I've got a mission of my own. It's too important for me to abandon, even for you. When it's over, and I'm still alive, we'll see what happens. That sounds dangerous. What are you doing? I don't think Cerberus needs to hear about it. But it's in Geth space. That should tell you how important it is. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. 
Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings for Bidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprise that all of them wish to give away this time. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. Having friends pays off. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Yeah. Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrive, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 region. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Why is the Omega-4 relay on map? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Any ideas on why they chipped to the focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? What are the Collectors getting for these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and work groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens. And then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before. And the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sarah. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers I are on the march. You need to take the fight to them. Give me a wreck. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already Thank compiled a list of soldiers, team. scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you Give could be challenging, out. but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Where's Caden Olenko? He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit. Where's Garrus Vakarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Where's Liara Tsosomi? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Group. If so, she can't be trusted. Okay, I get it. They're not available. 
you want a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. I'm still a Spectre. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you could convince them, by all means. Just remember, we've been gone a long time. Things have changed. You worry about the Collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you First, head to Omega and find Morton Solis. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing secret swarms. He's not liking it. Hey, no. He's not liking it. Hey, I haven't even Rex. started and you're telling me what to do? I'm giving you direction. What you do is not liking you. You're not liking it. You're not I'm sure liking you're it. The right All right. What's the other thing? I found a pilot I think you yeah, might like. I hear he's back. one of the best. Someone you can trust. <laughs> Joker! <laughs> hey, Commander. Yeah, Just no. like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, records sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Severus. Rick. You really trust the elusive man? Rick. Well, I don't trust anyone don't who makes more up. than I do. Don't drag but they him. aren't all bad. Tiny. Saved your life. Let me fly. Come here, Rex. Come here. Come they come only here. told I'll me last night. I'll you. Come here. <laughs> Ew. Oh, that's just here. Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Good point. Without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Jack around like that. Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. Now that we've got that sorted out, let's move on to these dossiers. Final preparation. 
preparations for takeover are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Understood. Thank you. Be a shock trooper. Health plus 40, weapon damage plus 9%. Storm speed plus 40%. Power duration plus 15%. And Paragon Renegade plus 100%. After the Veteran Council. That's a... Uh, Alright. Dr. Martin Solis, biological weapons expert. Light weapons training with special task group. Dr. Martin Solis is a Salarian biological weapons expert whose technology may hold the key to countering collector attacks. He is currently operating a medical clinic in the slums of Omega. Dr. O'Keel. <clears throat> I'll let you read this. Okay, Angel. Okay, I'll read this one. My unit tactical expertise. Omni tool expert and noted diaper. Archangel is a mercenary commander whose operations are noted for their technical expertise and strategic brilliance. He was responsible for high profile, atta profile attacks on gang leaders on Omega and likely can be found there. With the lab, the, the system. Yes, all right. The lab, the, 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 the system. With the profile the, still the same. Oh. Lip. Frederick Firewalker. I return a moment. Our current team. Actually, yeah, dossiers are here. <laughs> oh my god, Reggie's waiting for him. Come here. No, come here. Alright, unread messages. Message from Anderson. Marcus Reed, Zaid Masani,
Okay. Bye, rocker. Recon hood. Overlord. Axe projector. Ascension Financial Services. <laughs> Your status has been changed from deceased to alive. There we go. And here's where you find the archive messages. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a PM? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky my mission is. Any of us may not be coming back. It's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound? Yes. I look for warning signs. And listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests, advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. <laughs> Sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus' ideals. Eh. That's a very positive attitude. What can I say? I'm a people person. Anything else you'd like to talk about? How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the elusive man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Galactus. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and leave you. Oh. I might be more than catch you. Now, that's an enticing thought. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk about Alrighty, so... Political economic. That's actually going to be off for today. 
Uh, thank you for watching. If you're watching on Twitch, please follow. Subscribe if you wish to spend the money to subscribe. If you're watching on YouTube, please leave a like and a comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to join the notification squad. Tomorrow, um, we will, uh, we will be continuing with uh, this with uh, the story and look at that we've got up a whole paragon ranking pretty much so peace out <laughs>